wait, hold on. I'm gonna start over. Cause okay. I wanna I wanna go this view. Like that. That's better. All right. Hi, welcome to Shaken Not Stirred. I'm Christy Maselman and I'm the Executive Director of Cultural DC. And joining me today is Pittsburgh-based artist Devin Shimoyama. Hi. Hi, Devin. How's it How going? How are you? I'm good. I'm you know, just at home drawing. I've been drawing a lot and uh hang out with my dog, so it's great. Yeah. So yeah. do you have a studio at the house? I don't have a formal studio at the house. I um, I don't think I would do well with like a live work situation yeah. in that capacity. Uh, I, I need to get out and I'm more of a social person. So I like to separate and remove like the, or have a divide between those types of spaces. But, yeah. um, but I'm kind of like making a makeshift mini like work area, I guess, yeah. in my house. Yeah, so yeah. My, my partner, Danny Farrell, who's a painter as well, like he's working upstairs and he has like where we, one of our guest rooms functioning as his kind of studio spot right now. Yeah. Um, and then I just like am downstairs on the entire first level, just kind of hanging out where, wherever in any of these open spaces. And um, it's, yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. working fine, but I don't yeah. like to treat home as like a really hardcore workspace. There's already a presence of internet artists or internet-based artists, mm -hmm. um, artists using virtual space as, you know, something that's a part of their, um, you know, a part of their research and their practice in, in general. And so it's a little strange because now we're presented with this bizarre, op quote unquote, opportunity for right. a lot of, um, you know, other artists who focus on different mediums to sort of just tinker and right. dip their toes into this. So I'm a little, um, I'm a little worried that maybe a lot of artists who have no business making internet art are gonna start like sort of catering or pivoting their practice to, uh, you know, I don't know, function in that way. Um, yeah. I don't know, just to force it to. So it's a, I'm not sure what's gonna actually happen, but I, I worry about that type of shift happening. So what you're saying is you think there's gonna be a lot of bad work out there? That's yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I think that like, I, you know, I guess people are finding ways, right? You have to like find a way to like. But I think there'll be some really cool stuff too and some really so. amazing things, but we are, but they'll probably be really weird and new and only a res like the, only made because of this situation, like something right. that's totally unique to that right. time. Well, then it'll be interesting to see like if it all goes back to normal, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, think it's interesting. Be weird. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be a weird blip of like, a short window of time where all this weird stuff was made. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard though, because I feel like, especially when you're dealing, I, I guess it's anything, even like the visual, I mean, I th guess obviously, I think always more visual arts, but obviously performing arts is a factor too, that like the way you experience it in person is so different. And for me, like, you know, I've seen how obviously this is impacting like art fairs. And, you know, I know recently like Art Basel Hong Kong, like they canceled that fair, but they set up all these like, digital viewing rooms and I just feel like like I don't have the slightest bit of interest in like looking at those like I don't want to look I'm at not doing, like a virtual walk through like no. walking around in a yeah. gallery in a virtual space yeah That's I mean I I'm not gonna lie we we have done that recently with our current show but in a really cool way uh but that's only because no, it's, like, it's just something that I'm not gonna do not really and get something out of really i mean it might give me a i might click through it really quickly just to get yeah. an idea of scale but right generally i like to look if i'm looking at images of work i like to be able to really zoom in and see up close or yeah. all of that so actually the walkthrough is a little disorienting i think sometimes yeah. so yeah i think it is especially when you think about like on that scale like a fair yeah. scale like it's a very different thing and i'd, yeah. be, I'd be really curious to know whether or not people are buying at those fairs. I mean, yeah. obviously there's like bigger impacts happening financially. Oh yeah, I mean, smaller exhibitions or installations or projects, I think having a virtual kind of walkthrough is super like, I don't know, beneficial to the viewer because then they yeah. get an idea of a deeper understanding how, how that work exists in space. And so I, I get that if it's like actually installed, but shows moving forward, are they just gonna um, take pictures of the work and then drop them into like a, virtual space for the show i don't know because yeah. i mean if you're gonna have a virtual show you might as well have the whole thing be i mean 
take out Sims 4 and like right. <laughs> make, Somebody's make your dream virtual space. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's there. Um, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, uh, I don't know. I think it's nice too. I, I like that I also am hearing from artists that are like taking a break. And I think that that's also like interesting and it's okay not, you know, I think there's, I've been talking to people that like there's so much pressure to feel um, productive and to be productive. And I was talking to somebody else about this. And like, I feel like artists sometimes feel like if they're not making work, that they're not being productive. And I don't, I think that um, there's so many other things that you could be doing that can inform your work later on. I've had conversations like that with a few artist friends of mine. I think a lot of people are, um, at first we're thinking like, oh, you know, there's a lot of this people saying like, oh, this is a great time to really dig deep into your practice and like blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh man, I don't know if I really feel like doing that right now. Maybe it's a great time to spend more time with your dogs. Yeah. And that's like great. And it, <laughs> it's so nice. I think my dog's tired of us to be yeah. totally honest. <laughs> He's down here like snoring. Um, I think it's because he doesn't sleep during the day because we're here all day. So he's kind of He's totally. exhausted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to go check on him at night. We're like, where's the dog? Is he yeah. freezing? Like, yeah, but yeah, I kind of feel like that. I mean, my world's a little different, but uh, right now, because I have a family, so um, yeah. I have different challenges. Um, I was just on a Zoom um, drawing party with a bunch of artist friends of mine, and one of them uh, has, a, has two children, and trying to put them to bed was a whole ordeal. They were coming in and out of the room, yelling for mom, and it was... I think one is four and the other one is about six. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's a lot. A lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Like I have a six year old who's like six going on 16 and uh, <laughs> a lot. Um, but in like the best possible way, you know, she's going to be like a Ruth Bader Ginsburg kicking ass one day. But Oh yeah. That's rad. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Drink a lot, right? That's why we're here. Great. I, I, I sure am, right? Um, so obviously uh, we don't know when this is going to end, but like, what are you looking forward to when it's over? Like what's up next for you? Is there something on the horizon, a show, a project? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I have a, I mean, I don't know if it's been publicly announced, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say it on here. So I'm just going to say that I have a show in uh, at an institution in Germany in December, but who knows, you know, things might, be pushed. I don't know because I'm now, you know, not able to access my studio for the foreseeable right. future. But um, yeah, so that was something that I was working towards. And then I, you know, I just kind of will have my regular gallery solo shows next year. It's been almost a year and a half since my last solo show in the gallery. Yeah. So it'll, it's about time, I guess, next yeah. year. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah. I've t I have uh, bodies of work already started for both of those things, which is really exciting. And um, and now that I'm able to be at home, there's other things that I've been wanting to do that are like related to my practice tangentially. I've been thinking a lot about affordability um, and having other types of things in my practice that can be related to my practice that maybe um, is a lower price point that's you know thinking about prints more mm -hmm. um thinking a lot about uh i really want to make a tarot card deck that's illustrated so things like that like other because yeah. i love having um you know objects or other things like you know when you can buy like something at yeah the pam bookstore or something yeah. like little uh, well we'll look forward to kind of hearing more from you soon hopefully things in germany will go well i mean they're pumping like billions of dollars into their oh. arts community uh cl clearly congress didn't get that message here but no. um, <laughs> you know, we're gonna do the best with what we have right and uh take it day by day and definitely right, spend time with the dogs i know that's all i'm gonna be doing anyways right, Just right now <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah. It's, it's the best um right. rest of a weird really bizarre situation yeah yeah so good well thank you for joining me on chicken not stirred <laughs> this title, I love it. <laughs>